When we name carboxylic acids, we follow the same substituent, prefix, infix, suffix system that we've used to name other organic compounds. However, it's important to note that with carboxylic acids, we do not need to indicate the location of the carbonyl carbon because by definition, in carboxylic acids, the carbonyl carbon is always the first carbon in the carbon chain. Let's look at a few examples of naming carboxylic acids. I'll note to start with though, that these first few carboxylic acids also have common names. This first carboxylic acid, with just the carbonyl carbon as the only carbon, is named methanoic acid. We switch the suffix e with the suffix oic acid to indicate that we have a carboxylic acid. The common name for methanoic acid is formic acid. If we have a total of two carbons, including the carbonyl carbon, this would be known as ethanoic acid. However, most of the time people refer to this compound by its common name, acetic acid. If we have a three carbon chain, including the carbonyl carbon, this would be propanoic acid, or it could be known by the common name, propionic acid. A four carbon chain, including the carbonyl carbon, could be named butanoic acid, or it could be referred to by its common name, butyric acid. If we have a substituent on butanoic acid, for example, on the third carbon, this would be named 3-methyl-butanoic acid. Once we've learned to name carboxylic acids, naming acyl chlorides is fairly similar. The difference is that instead of using the suffix oic acid that we used with carboxylic acids, we change the suffix to oil chloride or OYL chloride. To name this first compound, which has a two carbon chain, including the carbonyl carbon, we would name it ethanoyl chloride. Let's look at this slightly more complex acyl chloride. We notice that it is a five carbon chain, including the carbonyl carbon, and it has a methyl substituent on the third carbon. The name of this compound would be 3-methyl-pentanoyl chloride. Naming esters is a bit more complex than naming acyl chlorides or carboxylic acids. You should recall that an ester has a carboxyl group on the carbonyl carbon. When we name esters, the very beginning part of the name will be the name of the alkyl group attached to the carboxyl oxygen. This alkyl group will be named even in front of any substituents that are present. We also change the suffix that we use for esters. Instead of oil chloride or oic acid, the suffix for esters is oate, O-A-T-E. As with carboxylic acids and acyl chlorides, the carbonyl carbon is always going to be the first carbon in the carbon chain. In this first example, we see that we have a methyl group on the carboxyl oxygen, and then we have a two carbon chain, which includes the carbonyl carbon. This compound would be named methyl ethanoate. In this second example, we have an ethyl group on the carboxyl oxygen. We also have a bromine substituent on the fourth carbon in a five carbon chain, which includes the carbonyl carbon. The name of this would be ethyl 4-bromo-pentanoate. You should also note that there is always a space between the name of the alkyl group on the carboxyl oxygen 
and the rest of the name of the compound. Naming amides is again a little bit different from the other carboxylic acid derivatives. To begin with, we change the suffix part of the name to amide. Unlike esters, the alkyl group on the nitrogen is treated as a normal substituent as we did with amines. In other words, we indicate that alkyl groups bonded to the nitrogen are located at the N. We do not name the alkyl groups on the nitrogen as we did with esters by putting the name of the substituent in front of everything else. Again, we name the alkyl groups on the nitrogen as if they were a normal substituent. In this first example, with a secondary amine, we have a four carbon chain with a methyl group attached to the nitrogen and another methyl group attached to the third carbon in the carbon chain. We would name this N, 3 dimethyl butanamide. In the second example, we have a methyl group on the nitrogen again, but now we have an ethyl substituent on the second carbon in a five carbon chain. We would name this second carbon 2-ethyl-N-methyl pentanamide. As is typical for naming organic compounds, we list the substituents alphabetically.